Georgina had dedicated dedicated her page that period to posting everything that had to do with the elections. It was becoming too much. And everyone was on social media, you know, people were reporting what was going on at their polling units, what was going on around their neighborhood. Everyone was just, you know, giving out information and all of that. And I had, because we, we, we followed each other at that time, I had seen all her posts and all of that, and they were becoming to me, that was my, that's my opinion, they were becoming too, you know, too much. So I slid into her DM and sent her a message. Now, before I tell you what I sent to Georgina, I'll tell you how our friendship was. I knew Georgina from our very humble beginnings in Nollywood. We were friends. She came to my house. Um, I don't remember, because she lived in Badagri then, I don't remember going to her house, but she was always at my place whenever she could. You know, she was like family. She was like my little sister. I'm older than she is anyway, you know, and she was friends with my family. My mom, God rest her soul, and um, my siblings were that close. I were like sisters, like, I don't even know how to explain it. I, I did Georgina's makeup on her wedding day. Georgina bought her wedding gown where I bought my wedding gown. She replicated, quote unquote, my wedding, most of the things I did. Her wedding card, she replicated, as in it was my wedding card, she replicated everything. It was just the names, the dates, and every other thing, the colors that were different. She replicated everything. I was with her, her wedding, and all of that. That's how close we were. Georgina's first child, Georgina had her first child 10 days before I had mine. And she came, even once I did my um, naming, my first child's naming ceremony, she was there with all, all the other, all my other colleagues that came. I'm just trying to ramble, you know, through it all to tell you how close I, um, Georgina and I were. So I, she relocated to the U.S. with her kids um, and stayed there. I remember she reached out to me to, you know, come over and shoot a film with her. I don't remember how that thing went, but I ended up not being a part of the movie. And yeah, but we maintained the cordial relationship. I knew her sister and her brother. I, I patronized her sister in the market a few times, you know, when I needed to buy stuff for my, my son and my daughter. So based on the relationship I shared with her, I slid into her DM. I said, Georgian, I'm angry with you. You're posting too many things. Anybody that doesn't know anything about Nigeria that comes across your page would think that Nigeria is on fire. They're peaceful polling units. My polling unit was peaceful. Femi Adebayo had and, um, posted that his was peaceful. Saka had posted. Only Michael has posted. I said, please, the one you've done is okay. I, I think I mentioned one or two of your posts are okay, but, you know, balance it out. The um, trouble areas and their peaceful areas so that people, would, you know, I, that's the way I felt. I told that uh, you're a brand and people look up to you. Use your brand to, you know, do good. Albeit under the image of Nigeria, that is not so bad. At least my polling unit, and I, and I was posting, people saw when the um, um, buses came, picked the ballot boxes, dropped the ballot boxes, took the um, youth coppers to, you know, to the other polling units. And I, the conversation was back and forth and all of that. She, she was going on and on. She said, oh, so because some very um, privileged areas or something like that, um, were peaceful, she should gloss over the whole thing. I said, no, I'm not saying you should say that the, whatever is peaceful. I'm saying balance your report. Just leave it to the bloggers and whoever that's, that reports whatever to report. And, you know, just do your own part and leave the rest. That I know by now you're a citizen and you're privileged. You're, you know, you don't know how it feels. You're a Nigerian first, you know, whatever be the case. And then she responded. I then went to her page. She called me names. I was shocked. I mean, like, it was as if 
it was someone else. Like I was meeting her for the first time, she called me names, said all, all sorts and all of that. And I kept quiet because I just felt it was one of those things. Fast forward four years later. 25th of February, 2023. I'm trying to... Yeah, so I got up. It was everyone's gingered, new Nigeria, hope, change. Let's do this and all of that. We went, I posted. I remember that I met like three or four people that said they came, they, they were planning to come around one, two, to come and vote before, you know, the club, but because they saw my post, they were gingered, they came out to other units and then to my own polling unit. So I was reporting what was happening, how people were still trying to gather, gather themselves, set up and move to other places and then set up at our own um, polling unit. And then you guys know eventually what happened. It could have been reported. I could have been reported. It was just God, nothing else. Because they were injuring people. They were beating people. They were hitting me. And the little boy who held my shirt up to my bra level exposed me. What if someone who had bottle or something or a knife had stabbed me? I'm still trying to deal with the trauma that came with what happened that day. And so, when I got to where I, I, I slept that day, someone sent me a message and drawing my attention to a post Georgina had made. Said so many things, calling me names again, that she was glad I experienced what happened. For whatever reason, I don't know what I did. So I was asking myself, what if something God forbid, had happened to me. That would have been Georgina's obituary to me. Would it have been how she would have reported to you guys? What would she have, what would she have told you guys? So all of this aside, when she said what she said on her page four years ago, she kept insisting that you know, celebrities did this, blah, 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 collected money, campaigned for people and all of that. She was still insinuating. She, she was insinuating that I had probably collected money from a politician to campaign. And that's why I was telling her to report that the elections were peaceful. That's against what I told her to do to balance her posts. The same thing. She insinuated the same thing again. I don't want to bore you guys with what happened. But my caption will say all of that. Sometimes, the enemy, when would they look, when would they find, they fight, they pray, is usually within us. I'm still traumatized. Every minute of the day, I'm jittery. Someone knocks around me. I scream. I see things flying. I'm not able to sleep properly. But to have someone think this of me, say this of me, at this time, at this age, even if I said something bad or I did something bad four years ago, people change. She said that about me. I said I was going to address this, but I didn't know this was going to turn out this way. Most times our enemies are within. That's all I have to say. But Georgina has to come out and tell me who gave me money to report, to tell her to report that the elections were peaceful. Otherwise, I won't say more than this. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for always believing in me with the little that I find my hands to do. God bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.